let me take this opportunity to welcome you aboard for 1969. The path to a playing career in the NFL is different for everyone who has suited up in the league. Yeah, but that's what they start calling the Rattler Code of FAMU. That includes how you get there, how long you stay there, and the impact you make upon leaving. This is when he uh, retired. That was the last game he played in in Cincinnati. Out of the 25,000 plus players who have ever lined up in this league, only 371 can steer their career into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and call it home. The newest addition here, Bengals legend and Bartow native Ken Riley is member 368. Oh my goodness, we are overjoyed right now for him. Barbara Riley is Ken's wife. Oops. Her husband's number one fan who has diligently documented his success throughout the years. And this is the second one. The stats seemingly speak for itself, which is why she'll never understand why 35 years after his eligibility opened, Mrs. Riley now has to speak for him. Why did it take so long for Ken to get this recognition? That was a $65,000 question. Ken's 65 interceptions still rank in a tie for fifth most ever in NFL history. In his 15-year career with Cincinnati, he recorded a pick every season, playing a total of 207 games. Consistent, productive, game-changing, and for many, including the Rileys, overlooked. His dad, why aren't they speaking? You know, why, what are they looking for? The sad reality is there's no true answer something Ken realized before his death in June of 2020 after suffering a heart attack at 72 years old. And it's still sad, and I still say, oh, it's so sad. That will complete his career, and he knew he was one of the best, but they didn't see it like we saw it at the time. Until it was too late. No knock, just tears shed between Ken's former teammate, Anthony Munoz, and his son, Ken Riley Jr. I was been praying for this call. I'm sorry that, you know, that he is not here to accept all the accolades and the interviews and things for himself and to put on that gold jacket and say to himself, I did it, I'm here. Barbara feels closest to her late husband of 51 years, walking to the laundry room, seeing this photo. She couldn't wait to tell him the good news. I mean, I look at it and I said, you know, you finally made it into, you know, the Hall of Fame, you know. Barbara will see her husband much differently on enshrinement day, unveiling his bust for the very first time. When I get there and I see it, I know it's gonna be emotional. His bust and his name will be in there forever for people to come and see. That's something his new home in Canton will be able to share with his childhood home in Bartow. There was an address change made on June 3rd of this year. It was good. It was a good moment, a proud moment. When Barbara walks past her photo, there's a quote saying, even when they are gone, we can still look back and clearly see the trail they left behind. You know, everybody pushing, just pushing and keeping his name out there. So finally it did happen. For those closest to Ken, the trail was always there. For many, they're finally seeing it. At the end, he said, I'm done waiting, I'm done.